Hey guys, let me show you another great digital tool that you can use in your classroom. This is one of my favorites. I use this probably three days of the week, um, and it's my preferred method for um, direct phonics instruction. So the app we're going to talk about right now is called Nearpod. So I pulled it up, and it's N-E-A-R-P-O-D. Um, so it's super, super easy to use, super versatile. Um, there is one thing I need to tell you about. Um, so when you go to do a Nearpod activity, so you can see that these are things that I have made myself and uploaded myself. Um, when you go to do them, you have two options. You have a live lesson or you have student paste. Now, I have always done a live lesson with my students. Well, when we got to distance learning, I discovered that distance learning wasn't something I could do with their paid, um, with their free app. It had to be their paid app. So I did have to do an upgrade um, to the paid version, which is $10 a month. I'm hoping to only do it while we're doing the distance learning and go back down, okay? So I do wanna make that clear from the beginning. The reason I did decide to make this purchase was because I had all these activities already in there and they were already made. And um, I felt like I was spinning my wheels in so many other areas. I wanted to keep something consistent, okay? So that was worth it for me. Um, so let me just show you what this looks like, okay? So this is an activity I made. We did the long O last week. Um, let me see if I can show it to you. And what you can do is you can have it, it almost says like slides, so you think of a slideshow. You can import from Google, you can um, import things you've already made. Next time you're creating, try a new Google slide add-on. So if you have things that are already existing, this might be a really good implementation for that. So you can see that I did an introduction right here. And then um, on this actual introduction, let me see if we can go to the live version. But I recorded audio, um, not the free account, mind you, but with this um, continued learning model so that um, so that my kids could hear me give them the directions and give them the phonics. Okay, so let me see what happens if we go to do this one. Okay, student paste. It's going to give me this code, okay? So I'm going to copy that code, and I'm going to go to join Nearpod. Dot com. Now, my kids um, use Apple devices at school, so we have, um, I don't think that's the code, BNB, okay, I lied. Um, my kids use um, iPads, so they already have the Nearpod app on there, so for us in the classroom, they can use their fingers or the cheap stylus to do it. So let me show you the activity I made. Now, I have the volume on my computer turned off, so you probably won't be able to hear that. Um, but you can see the little audio down here. So what I actually did was I actually recorded myself teaching this actual lesson to my kids. So because they were used to the app, they were used to the format of all this, I felt like that was a really great way to give phonics instruction. So you can see me down here telling them what we're gonna talk about with this long O, I give them a visual. And this meant, remember this is the student version right here. And then they would take this version right here and I'm telling them what they're going to do. So this was the opening directions right here. And this is self-paced, so they can move this along. If we did the live version, I would move them along as I wanted them to go. Um, so they would be tracing. I would tell them what they're going to do here. And then on this screen, they actually do it. So they would trace the O and the E. Now, mind you, I'm doing this with my mouth, so it's not going to be as easy. And it's going to be b o n -a. Now, one of the things my school did do this year is they got the teachers, the touch screen um, Chromebook. So I think this would be a lot more fun on the touch screen. But you can see they have basic tools down here. My kids know how to use all of those tools. And then they have to submit the answer. When they submit it, it actually goes to me. I can actually see their work. All right, so we're gonna move on. Now on this one, again, I'm giving them directions and then I have a duplicate side that they're gonna take their um, highlighter tool and they're gonna pick a different color, and they're gonna color their screens as they sound out the matching words, and all the words that are the same color are going to be rhyming. So that's what we're doing on this one. Okay, you can see how that goes, and then they can submit. 
Same thing with right here. They're going to be reading the words and there's directions that just didn't properly load up here. So they're going to draw a line. I'm giving them directions. Duplicate slide. They do it. I think something's not loading right here. And then um, this is a sight word review. So I'm actually saying the words them out loud. So you can see that this is a super, super powerful tool. The great thing is a lot of people say if they can't provide printables or um, do, do a paper version, then they can't do it. With this one, because I made those printables, I can easily send those printable copies home as well. So it really hits several of their needs, okay? So you can see all the different ways you can embed Nearpod into what you're doing. So it's super, super easy, okay? There are lessons and like virtual field trips you can take on here. And there's actually tons of different ways that you can create lessons on here. I'm a little hesitant to show you how to create lessons right now because right now I am in that gold user status and um, that gives me more tools that you wouldn't have if you had the basic account. Um, I just don't want to be, I, I don't want to be misconceiving with what you can get for free. I basically paid for the version so I could get this self-paced digital copy, okay? Um, if I show you how to do a lesson, will you please just know that it's because it's going to have different options because it's paid right now. All right, so you can see if you come to this little plus up here to create a lesson that you guys can um, get your lesson from Google Slides, make a lesson in Nearpod, even do sub plans. So I'm going to do a lesson in Nearpod, and it's going to let me drag and drop different files. So I can add um, content that I have. I can add web content, so a website. I can even add an activity. I usually do add an activity because then it gives me different things you can do. Now remember, this is the paid version, so all of these aren't always an option, but draw it usually is, poll usually is, and um, I was giving you guys the draw it options. Let me show you um, that one. So on this file, I'm going to be able to upload an image. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick where I'm going to get my image from. I'm going to upload it. Oh, that's my dog. Let me see. So this is the exact one I made. So I'm going to upload this one right here. And then that one should be ready to go. Nothing, nothing huge. You can um, make it bigger, smaller, trash it, rotate it, different things like that. Okay. I'm going to go on. Oh, no. Okay. So I have to be really careful because the controls for this are right near my, like, turn off button um, for the recording. All right. So um, then I would just go to the next slide, add an activity, find, oh, I don't want to do Flipgrid. That's a paid one. So I'm going to add a slide, add an activity, hit that arrow over. I'm going to go back to draw it. I use draw it so much in kindergarten, I can't even tell you. I'm going to go to my picture image. This is one that I made too. So this is like a handwriting one. Um, and then I'm going to save that as well. You can have more or less. Now, if you want to know how I did the recording, I'm pretty confident the recording is also on um, the page. But I could not do draw it and record, so I had to pick one or the other. That's why I made duplicate sides. So then at the bottom, you can see where it says save and exit. So I'm going to save and exit. Oh, and I'm going to call this demo, okay? Um, just because I'm not going to keep this one because I already have the version um, that I want. ELA, long O, save and exit. Okay. So once we have it, remember live lesson was what I would do in my classroom, but self-paced is what I would do for um, others. So when you hit that live lesson, because I already showed you self-paced, when I hit that live lesson, um, my kids would put this in just like they did for that, um, that other type of lesson, but then we would all play together, okay? So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Oh, here's another great feature, and this is in the free version as well. If you want to stop the lesson, to so say like something's interrupted your day, you can stop it, and then you can actually resume it later from where you left off. So that's really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to hit, no, I don't want to resume it later. Let's go back to Nearpod. Um, it will give me the reports when we're done in the paid version, not in the other copy, and not in the, not in the free version. Oh, it's going to make me do it. Okay.
So I hope that was a pretty good tutorial. They do have lessons that you can buy in Nearpod. So if you want somebody's lessons that um, are already paid for, you can go in the lesson library. They're usually really, really decent. I just don't know if you're willing to spend money on that right now because I understand if you're not. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I hope it really shows you how really powerful Nearpod is. And um, I love it. I use it constantly. It's one of my favorites.